It is, it is. Um, on this script, we're going to be doing over an example on how to calculate the equation uh, of a tangent line uh, to a curve using the um, differential calculus, right? Uh, so let's go ahead and write out the question uh, for the example that we're doing. So uh, the question is as follows. Find um, the the equation the equation um, of the tangent line tangent line the curve the curve um, y equals eight over four plus x squared at x equals one. Okay, so just to give you a little background, this curve right here is due to Maria Agnesi, um, whose picture is depicted here. This is Maria Agnesi, and she's one of the prominent student mathematicians of the 18th century. She's Italian, and she contributed greatly to the development of um, differential and, and an integral calculus. So this curve is due to, due to Maria Agnesi, okay? And this curve right here is known as the, uh, has an interesting name, is known as the witch, the witch of Agnesi, okay, the witch of Agnesi. And this, the, the witch component of this name is used in this translation, that's how that witch came about, okay. All right, so let's go ahead and calculate the uh, equation of the tangent line for this curve, and I'll show you graphically what our solution looks like, okay. So um, if we want to work on the equation of a line, we need uh, the slope and the point, right? So um, we need to, let's go ahead and find find the point first. So we know that x equals one. So what is y? y is gonna have to be eight divided by four plus one squared, which is eight over five. So the point that is under consideration right here is one for the x coordinate as indicated in the problem, and then 8 over 5, that's the y coordinate that we just found out, okay? So we need to, we need a point on a slope because we want to point, put the, our results into this equation, the point slope equation, y minus y1 equals m x minus x, x minus x1, okay? We already have um, x1 and, x, and y1. This is x1 right here. This is x1 and this is y1. So what we need now is the slope. So how do we find the slope um, of this tangent line at that point? Well, that's what the derivative is, right? The derivative is a cool tool that can help us find the slope without actually using the slope formula. All right, so all we just need is to find um, the derivative at, at um, this specific point, and that will be um, our slope, all right? So basically, um, dy, dx of our function at x equals x1 is basically m. So we find the slope at a specific x point that's going to tell us what the slope is because that's what the definition of derivative is the slope of the tangent line at a point. Okay? So all we just need to do is find what, um, uh, what the derivative is, plug in a value uh, uh, of x1, which is 1, and then that will tell us our slope. Then we can now plug in everything we need in this equation, okay? So don't forget, what we're looking for now is m. We don't know what m is, all right? We know what x1 is. We know what y1 is. We just need to know this, all right? So we have, let's write the equation y equals um, 8 over 4 plus x squared, okay? So, well, we can differentiate this using the quotient rule, but that's too much work. So this is a constant. I can rewrite this in a way that makes, uh, that I can basically implement the um, the power rule in the differentiation. So how about I express this, write it in a different way. How about I write it as, we have um, uh, y equals 8 divided by, this is 4 plus x squared to the first power, whatever our reciprocate the denominator is going to become y equals 8 
times x, I mean, it times 4 plus x squared. Okay, it times 4 plus x squared. Since we have, since we reciprocated the denominator, the power is going to become negative 1. All right, so notice that we're differentiating this, since this is a constant, that means the constant rule is results in just me applying the power rule to this component right here. Okay, so remember the power rule of derivatives uh, uh, is y equals x to the n, then y prime is going to be you bring the power to the front and subtract 1 from the power, right? So it's basically going to be n x to the n minus 1. So that's what I'm going to apply here, all right? So to compute the derivative y prime is going to become 8 factored out times the quantity 4 plus x squared minus 1 prime. Remember the constant rule? It allows you to factor out any constant multiple out of the derivative. So we can just factor out this 8, and we don't have to bother about it. Just focus on this function right here. All right, so find the power rule that I just illustrated over there. Uh, the derivative is going to become this power right here, this negative 1, uh, goes to the front. And then we're going to subtract 1 from the power. So it's going to basically become 8 times negative 1 times 4 plus x squared to the minus 1 minus 1. All right? But notice this is a nested function. We have a function within a function. Within this reciprocal function, we have a quadratic function. We must apply the chain rule and differentiate the inner function, which is 4 plus x squared. So now what is the derivative of 4 plus x squared? If we differentiate that using term by term differentiation, the derivative of 4 is 0. And the derivative of x squared is 2x. OK? Uh, so let me just write it so you don't get confused. So I'm going to do 4 plus x squared prime. So this means I'm going to differentiate the inner function, OK? So since we find the derivative of the outer function, we're going to have negative 8 times 4 plus x squared to the negative second power. And if I differentiate this term by term, this one is 0 and this is 2x using the power rule. Because the 2 goes to the front, and then we minus 2 from there, so times 2x, x to the first power. Okay? So if we simplify this further, I was going to have the derivative be, uh, multiply this by this, we have negative 16x divided by 4 plus x squared, and that whole quantity raised to the second power. Now what I'm going to compute, we all now have the derivative, right? This function helps me to compute the slope of this tangent line at any point, at any x value on the which of the genetic curve. So we want to fix it. We want to fix it at what value? We want to fix this derivative at the value x equals 1. All right, so that will tell me the slope at, of, the, of the tangent line when x is 1. All right, so if I plug this into the function, I'll have negative 16 times 1 divided by 4 plus 1 square, the whole quantity square, right? So that becomes negative 16 over 4 plus 1 square is 5 over 5 square, which equals negative 16 over 25. All right, so what I know is we just find out, we just found out the slope. We just found out the slope is negative 16 over 25. And earlier, we also determined that um, the point x1, y1, is given by uh, 1, we're given on the problem, and we're plugging 1 into the original curve. So with the agnostic curve, we came up with um, 8 over 5. All right? So I'm going to input these two pieces of information into the point slope formula that I've seen a long, long time ago in algebra 1. Uh, y minus 1 is equal to mx minus x1, and that to give us the equation of the tangent line, OK? So plugging these in, I will have y minus y1, which is 8 over 5 equals the slope m negative 16 over 25 times x minus x1. x1 is um, 1. Okay? So this is the equation of the tangent line to the width of agnostic curve at x equals 1. Okay? All right. Now let's take a look at the curve. Um, there goes the curve, the width of agnostic curve. Um, see how cool it looks like. If you draw a circle where it is one here, it's basically tangent 
to this square root of 0 0.02. Anyway, uh, at the point x equals 1, 1 and 5, 8 over 5, this is the point that we were asked to compute the line of the tangent in. So if we do it, we did it uh, with a computer, we can find out, we can see the tangent line. Okay, so this is the line that had that uh, specific slope that we mentioned um, earlier. So basically, um, this is the curve, uh, y equals um, 8 over 4 plus x squared. So we have a density curve. This is the point 1 comma 8 over 5. And this right here is the tangent line that we found the equation of y minus 8 over 5 equals negative 16 over 25 times x minus 1. All right? That goes the whole information that you have. So this is the this is the tangent line, right? So you can see how we can see how um, the line is tangent to the curve at this point. All right. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, please subscribe uh, to my videos so you can get updates to cool videos such as these. Uh, go ahead and click on the bottom of my Thanks again and have a